Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to Anime Retrospect. Today, we're going to be doing a re-review, an anime, which is something that I want to review twice for a, a perfect re-review for today's ep subject on Anime Retrospect, is we're going to be re-reviewing this classic anime, Tokimeki Tonight. So the anime series, Tokimeki Tonight, is mainly the story of about a teenage vampire girl named Ranze Ito, which is the character in this particular anime, who just wants to be a normal girl, and she wanted to love her classmate named Shun Makabe, who is the other character in this particular anime. In all the worlds, all sorts of demons or monsters existed what you see in Tokimeki tonight especially and lived in the demon world with the exception of Ranze's family who lives in the human world which is a lot more satisfactory results heading on with something that's going on her parents are basically a soft-hearted vampire father and her mother is a hot-tempered werewolf because it's basically a take on the monsters or Adam's family because they are, because of the elements of how you find. And while the anime always wanted to show any exceptions, that her little brother, Rinzei, is also a werewolf, and a very good boy uh, in this particular anime. Unlike every other monsters, Rinzei seems like a fairly normal type of girl, how you see, except she can transform to anything she can bite, anything of how you will if she bites into someone from the demon world it, she always gets the powers accordingly how you expect every downside of she can go back to her normal self by sneezing especially of what has she has a lot to do for this which is often inconvenient especially transforming into an inanimate objects especially what she can always get her hands on, particularly. If, if only if the show take more seriously considered how, in its own standards, of how you want to know. Especially if she can transform into food, or spending many certain hours as a baseball, or every other human disguise, whether she can bite of her, how her, she changes in her disguise, particularly. Unable, to, or she's unable to move or get help because nobody knows that they can hear her. Even if, otherwise, it would have been terrifying to, for a comprehension beyond of how something happened. As two or less of how you find something happening in Tokimeki tonight. On the romance on the side, there is a huge part of the gap of the story especially for a classic shoujo series from the, the 80s. Ranze has a rival named Yoko, who is also her classmate, and she is the daughter of a Yakuza... Beyond, I mean, this is not exactly a love triangle, as, it, as if it is, especially in a countdown. If I could find any research for this, especially with a little blend between, like, a love comedy, sort of like Yurisei Yatsura in its own certain way these days. If you could find anything of how this has a lot to do, which is a lot very more different as how, as it was to a countdown, until Makabe starts showing that he likes Ranze back, especially when she has a lot to do for this. I mean, Yoko is base maybe high spirited, and she not only that, she's also tragically clueless about any certain ways of how, but she can be intrusive and annoying. Especially, she does not have a, really have a chance with Makabe in this particular anime, but that doesn't mean that she can stop Ranze from fighting with her. Especially how rivalry goes, just because Ranze herself never knew about how Makabe feels in this particular series. I mean, 
even though Makabe has a bad boy, lone wolf sort of image of his personality is, according to himself, although he may be harsh at first, but he's basically a nice guy who, but he, sometimes he can be shy, but he's into boxing. That's his hobby. Although Ranze may be a protagonist, she be also can be a lot more goofy as how you expect and enduring to watch, especially for this anime. When she's happy, especially, than any other anime out there in the planet, especially of how whatsoever. She's maybe courageous when she needed, when she has no problem having her feelings let be known, as they would have go against the Demon King himself for what she loves, especially. It's, it's The story follows Ranze, because in the manga has divided into three parts, especially. The first one being Ranze, the second being her brother Rinze, and the third, Ranze's daughter, who would be a magical girl, especially. Curiously, if the if the ma yeah for manga artist named Koei Ikino would have go to create and do the manga, especially a follow up in its own for the 1995 Magical Girl series, Nurse Angel Re, uh, which is a after the ending of Tokimeki Night. But Ranze's part is longest and more popular throughout the 80s, and honestly, this one because the anime focuses on the earliest bits of her story especially for this particular anime. Because the anime has aired for less than a year for a slapstick rom-com from the 80s. But I do love the, the animation, cause the, especially the backgrounds. It sort of kind of reminds me of like a little reminiscent to like those early 50s animation from the 1950s of how I appreciate it. Because I've heard good things about the animation. I mean, the manga would go on for almost a decade throughout the 80s to the 90s, in sort of way. It never got a chance to rent, be the real meat for the story of how you want to expect for this particular series like this one, in, in, according, in general, accordingly, especially, of how you want to know. And it's also meant that the show had to create for its own s sorts of drama, uh, having Makabe discover Ranze's secret may be a lot more comparable to those 80 Magical Girl shows from Studio Piero that came after this anime, where the especially where just girls are especially where the girls are discovered by their love interests while they they transform. And speaking of which, y Yoko is voiced by Mina Tominaga, who is the voice of Persia in the anime Persia: The Magic Fairy which is another anime which is made by Studio Piero, while Makabe and all the crushes in the 80s Piero Magical Girl animes are voiced by Yu Mizushima in this particular anime. Yeah, maybe I'll come over to that. But I think he makes, he spent the half, half of the 80s voicing shoujo heartthrobs in every certain anime as well from how I can learn about this. Yeah, maybe I'll... Well, the demon world has rules against falling for humans. For frankly, every certain type of reasons imposed by a tyrant. Which makes Ranze's love for Makabe forbidden. Which it ne Except for Makabe, who is no average dude. For the record, the Lost Demon Prince storyline, it really goes... After Ranze convinces her secret to Makabe in the original manga, which is, I don't know if you could find it on every, if you ever watch the anime in general, particularly of how you want to expect. For space and Indiana Jones like shenanigans happening in this anime, I mean, the anime sh never shows Ranze and Makabe kissing either, which they do only in the manga for its own certain ways. They do get romantic and dramatic hugs for all the things. As they can also appreciate, unlike any other anime out there in general, there's too many to name I can go through. It's worth nothing noting that the anime has expanded on the mentioned rule. 
especially for Tokumeki tonight, when the king reveals that he dislikes humans with, because they are violent and kill each other senselessly in Tokumeki tonight, just as he himself is about to kill senselessly, of how, which Ranze's parents point out as prejudice happening. It's no different than, from the prejudice and the discrimination that exists in the human world in this anime of how you want to know. Family play is a big part in this main series, like Tokumeki tonight. And while Ranze's parents do not exactly want to rebel against the authority happening in this zone, when it comes down to how they will take Ranze's side, because there's no bigger power happening than the power of love, especially... My favorite things I like from the show, how they, the world and atmosphere are designed a little reminiscent to like those old 50s animation, especially to those very retro, from the, all, come all the way from the 50s, even for its 80s standard in an anime. Yeah, because stylizing the background reminded me of those cartoons from the 1950s and 60s, which I appreciate animation. There's, it uses green and purple, which can be the colors of death, decay, of how you want to know. In the purple's case is otherworldly. There's also the abundance of pink and black and white for contrast, as how you want to know for this anime. Especially the nut houses that are usually green and purple at night, how depending on it. Where we don't have the darkness of night happening in this one. The sky is usually either pink or green, depending on any of the color on the backgrounds to the time of day. Pink can be particularly cons consume the entire atmosphere of how you want to know. For It's often with purple or any other limitations of the use on. But overall, the show gets a very distinctive good mood of how the pastels and sparkles we expect from these uh, older shoujo anime from the 80s. With a true feeling like a world where a monster family are the protagonists. Kind of like, this is like a mix between the monsters or Adam's family with a mix of Yurisei Yatsura love comedy triangle type of feel. The opening endings were very well known. The opening about the feelings of a girl falling in love, of how the, the theme song. But the ending that shows the girl in love as enchanted witches such as the bouncing ending theme song, Super Love Lotion. Because you know what I mean, because the ending theme song sounds a little Italo-disco-ish type. In the context, airing from 1982 to 1983, around the same hour as um, The Mysterious Cities of Gold, Yurisei Yatsura, Space Adventure Cobra, The Kabocha Wine, and Ulysses 30. Well, it's after Uly Dog Tanyon and the Three Musk Hounds and Ulysses 31, 1983. This is a beloved classic that came out with this time for this particular anime, like Tokimeki Tonight. Night. There are references to movies like E.T. and Rocky, especially the iconic scene, especially the boxing episode on where Maccabi accepts the challenge to fight an American champion called Rocky, but it looks a lot more like Apollo instead of Rocky Balboa in this particular scene in this episode of Tokimeki Tonight, of how you expect for this particular sort of things in this particular episode like this, of how she notices it, he was in the boxing match to fight an opponent in its own way in these days. Yeah, because you, you can't go... I, I think you can may know about this anime, though. The show has its stumble and sharing of things very questionable or hasn't aged as it gets. The games being weird jokes in this particular show that values love is one of them, of how you want to know. Even the design of Yoko's dad is another one, which it kind of reminds you of how these gangsters being portrayed as characters is also a thing in another anime series called Stop He... Hibari-kun, which is another anime that came out in 1983 later on after Tokimeki Tonight as well. And I think you can find how you research if you have, when it comes to discussing older anime, especially the humor at the time. I mean, the because the ending in Tokimeki Tonight, however, she was wearing the cloak, just because she's not wearing nothing except her cloak. But 
it doesn't even fit her character of how it's mainly not appropriate in this almost no, in way of how when they do like this like when the, at the ending to Tokameki tonight and all especially for this all the fair is that if you how everyone in the show does not end without everybody participating to the ending to Tokameki tonight I mean, not even Rocky, especially in this particular episode in Tokameki tonight of how it's a pretty wholesome show for this particular anime. It can also be pretty self-aware that it's most while mostly comedy, though there's good at evoking horror if it tends to, especially. So that's my review and my score for this anime: a ten. That's my personal score, just a ten. So that is my review for Tokimeki Tonight I have here. If you want to binge on something to watch an anime that you have never seen before, get it. I highly recommend anyone to check out Tokimeki Tonight. I mean, it's available on YouTube. It's dubbed in English subtitles. It's been a while since I've watched the entire anime series of Tokimeki Tonight on YouTube because this has become a hit for this particular classic anime that came out in the 80s as well. If and it's all Yeah, if you haven't seen it, look up the the full ep, in, English subbed playlist of Tokimeki tonight cuz it's on YouTube. If yeah, if you haven't seen this particular series like this. So overall, what do I think of the anime? Hmm, it's pretty good because I've heard good things about Tokimeki tonight as well. Because that's how I'm going to learn to give in the thing, though, about how this anime has it tends of how you want to expect. So that's going to be it for what I have for today on Anime Retrospect. Thank you for watching, because this is the first time I'm doing a re-review of Tokimeki tonight for the very first time. In honor of its anniversary, though, because I had to do a re-review on this for the very first time. Help subscribe for content at Anime Planet, link in the description below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have Twitter and Facebook account and all social media. Smack the like button if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comments section below what is you think of this anime on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Ruroni K95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified as well. And keep it otaku for this episode on anime retrospect. Next to next, Saturday, we're going to be covering an anime for a re-review. Happy anniversary, 80th anniversary to this particular classic from BRB International and Nippon Animation. Until next time.